Question 10. The diagram below shows two similar measuring flasks, so we're looking at similar shapes again. This asks us to find the vertical height, so we're trying to find this height here on the larger flask. So we're going to use the smaller shape, the larger shape, and a scale factor again. This time we're just going to worry about lengths for the time being, because all the question is about lengths. So the smaller one has 8, and the larger one is 14. And then we're going to find the scale factor by doing 14 divided by 8. It's up to you how you work that out, but I'm just going to leave it as a fraction for now because it might be easier when it comes to doing the multiplying. If I want to find the height, now the larger one, I'm going to take this length scale factor and times it by 20. So I'm going to end up doing 20 times 14 over 8. Again, I can either do 20 times 14 first and then divide by 8, or I could do 20 divided by 8 first and then times by 14. It's entirely up to you whichever way you do it, but you'll end up with the answer of 35 centimetres. Part B, the larger flask is now partly filled with liquid. Calculate the volume. So we know that the vertical height of the larger one that we worked out earlier was 35. And we know it's filling 15. We also know that the radius of the larger one is 14. And we need to find the radius of the part of the larger one. We can use a number of different ways to do this now. We can either use this 35 and 15 to find out what the scale factor is or we can use the 14 but we're going to have to find this radius here so that we can use the formula volume equals a third times pi times r squared times h so we know h is 15 but what we don't know is r at the moment so we can use the 35 and the 15 because we know that the height of the large one is a full 35 so we can use that to find this radius in here. So we know that the scale factor is going to be 35 divided by 15. That's going to be the link between the whole one and it's if we imagine this being its own little small one. And then we're going to times that by 4. No, we're not. We're going to do 14 divided by that scale factor. And then that will tell us the radius of the smaller cylinder. That radius of the smaller cylinder is going to give you 6 centimetres. So we know that the radius in here is 6 centimetres. Then we can just fill that into here. So we're going to get V equals a third times pi times 36 times uh, the height, which is 15 of this one, times 36 by 15, and then divide it by 3, and you end up with 180 pi as the answer. Question number 11. Using the information, calculate the radius of the sector. So we need to find this height here. So the formula we're going to use when they tell us area is that the area of a sector is equal to theta divided by 360 times by pi r squared. So in this case, we know the area is 200 pi. Theta we know is 40 divided by 360 times by pi times by what we're trying to find out, which is r squared. Take the 360 up and times, take the 40 down and divide, and take the pi over to divide as well. So we end up with 200 pi times 360 divided by 40 pi is equal to r squared. The pi's cancel. 200 divided by 40 is 5, and then times 5 by 360 is 1,800. And we've obviously got rid of the pi because they cancel, so it is 1,800 equals r squared. So then we can square root 1,800 to find r. Now it asks for it in the form of a root b, so we're going to have to use our rules for splitting up series to find that. I'm going to split this into an 18 times by 100, because I know that the square root of 100 is 10. And then I'm going to change root 18 into root 9 root 2, and then I know that that's 3, so this becomes 30 root 2. So A is an integer, 30, and B is a prime number, and 2 is a prime number. The square is to be covered in concrete. Calculate the area of the square. So if we look at the diagram, we know now that this length here is 30 root 2 from there to there. So the length of the square is 30 root 2 plus 10. So the length and width of the square are 30 root 2 plus 10. And we're going to times that by itself, 30 root 2 plus 10. And then we're going to do 30 root 2 times 30 root 2. So we're just going to do FOIL. So we're going to end up with 900 times by root 2 times by root 2, which is 2. So we're going to end up with 1,800 plus 10 times that 
300 root 2 same again another 300 root 2 and then 100 on the end so we're going to end up with 1900 plus 600 root 2s and that is the final answer